Hi, I'm Andrea Kirk, the artist behind the channel, The Art Chick. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a tropical palm leaf. Although I prefer to use oil paint for this project, acrylics work as well. If you are planning to use oil paint, you will need a palette. I just use wax paper taped around a mat board. You will also need Turpenoid Natural and a Silicoil cleaning tank, which will be used to clean your brushes. Along with those, I used Liquin and a palette knife. To keep things tidy, you may also want a Masterson art box and paper towels. Here's a closer look at the brushes I used for the project. Also, you can use any sized canvas that you prefer. To begin painting, let's mix our colors. So here are the colors that we will need in order to begin the painting. And I'm going to go over those with you. This is titanium white. This is Hansa yellow, yellow ochre. These two are both called permanent green light, but they're different brands. This one is Windsor and Newton, and this one is M. Graham. And then we have Windsor green yellow shade, and it's kind of funny because it's really dark, so you wouldn't think that's the name, but it is. It's a really good color. And then this is Viridian. This is Cobalt Teal, and then we have Radiant Magenta. I want to begin with the pink background, and you'll just take white. Okay, and then you're going to take that Radiant Magenta and blend that into the white. And as you can see, it's pretty bold at this point. We definitely don't want it that bold. So we're going to take more titanium white, mix that in, and as you can see, it's getting lighter. But again, we, we don't want it to look too pink, and so that's why we have the cobalt teal. We're going to add just a hint of that in there, and notice how that instantly toned it down. And now you get kind of a purplish shade, and this color with the greenery, with the tropical greenery, is very trendy right now. And so that's why I chose this piece. I thought this would be really fun to hang in your house as a decoration, or if you're a college student, you can hang it in your dorm room. Now, um, we're going to do all the different greens for the palm leaf. And what you're going to do is Take the lightest shade of green, which is the permanent green light. Let's take yellow, blend those two together, and you'll get an electric green. It's pretty bright, but you want that because look at that nice contrast between the two. Okay, and then we're also going to do some that are a little bit lighter, so you'll still take that same color and more yellow, but I'm going to use a lot of yellow this time even going to use a lot of white and watch how pretty this is it's a very lush green that will be for the tips of the leaves where they get lighter and you can still go a shade lighter than that if you want so I may have to get more yellow on my palette and I'll do that in a minute but for now I'll just add some more white and see the three different shades and then you want to go darker and that's where you take that Windsor green yellow shade and swipe that over here. Then take your permanent green light, the darker one, and mix those two together. And this will be used for um, some of the shadows, so the darker areas of the leaf. So we'll definitely need that. And then swipe that over here, and let's mix the Viridian. And the Viridian is more of a blue shade of green. Watch what happens when we add a little bit of white to it. Can you see the blue? Crazy, huh? So that too makes a really pretty color. And so these colors here are perfect for creating really pretty palm leaves. But then we also need to consider the stem. And the stem on the palm leaf, that's where we take the yellow ochre. Yellow ochre, hence the yellow, and voila. So we'll need this shade, and then also I want to mix some green in with that so that we get two different shades. That 
that's still a little too bold. So I'm going to take more yellow ochre, mix that in. Okay, so now all you need is liquid. And this is the liquid, and you'll just pour a little bit on your um, palette. And you'll use this to spread your paint and it makes it more slippery. It also dries your paint a little bit quicker. So um, because we aren't using acrylic paints, um, oils, they tend to take a longer time to dry, but that's a good thing um, because you can blend your colors longer. But then the next day, using Liquin, um, your paint is ready to work on once again, and it's a little more dry. So if you're doing layers, um, this is really good to use. To draw the palm leaf, um, we are going to start with the basic stock. So let's begin over here and move from left to right. And you're basically going to do just a diagonal line. And don't worry if it's not perfectly straight, that's fine. I always tell my students to just, you know, kind of scribble it on there just so that you can get the right idea. I don't like to stress myself out and make things just absolutely perfect in the sketching process. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is kind of outline just gently the shape of the palm leaf. And so I think we'll stop, I might go a little bit higher up. So let's maybe start, stop right here and then come around like this. And this is just going to outline where the leaves will stop. Okay, but notice how I curve. Okay, so I'm gonna curve around here, and I'm also going to curve here at the bottom. Okay, so it looks like a big D. And then over here, same thing. Um, you wanna just start curving about here. Okay. And obviously that's not going to be our plant. That's just the outline to show you where to stop the leaves. Okay. And I think that we should start from the top and work our way down. It's a little bit easier, I feel like. You have a little more control with the leaves. So we'll start up here. And really the leaves at the end are kind of long. So you wanna taper. Start small down here, and then you get wider, and then you get skinny again to there. Okay, and then you'll just continue that process, just repeat. And on the other side, um, you do want them to touch each other. So if there's a leaf here, there's going to be a leaf on the opposite side. So we do have to make sure that it's symmetrical so we're going to do the same thing. Do a leaf over here. Like that. And then up here, um, we'll do another one. And remember, end on that line. And then have it come back in. And then do another one on the opposite side. And it's okay if the leaf on the other side is a little bit skinnier. Um, they do vary, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And then the one that goes on the tip, I am going to bring out just a little bit more, just because I think design-wise it will look really good. And then just bring that to a tip, like that. Okay, and you can see how as we start to fill this out, it will just come together. So um, I'll draw a few more and then I'll do time lapse so that you can see the process sped up and you can just follow along. But right here, um, it might even help if you mark where each leaf stalk will begin. And so you could just kind of move down like a ladder and just mark, you know, see how these are equally spaced apart. If you do that all the way down, you should be okay. And then also as you're working, um, and watch me, I might have some of my leaves kind of curved downward because they're not always perfectly straight. So watch for that too when I turn on the time lapse. But let me hurry and do a couple more for you to see just so that you're comfortable. Okay, 
Okay, so there's one there. And if you feel like there's a big gap, go ahead and add another. And it can be it can be skinnier if you want it to be, you know, not as big as the others. That's totally fine. Just remember that on the other side, you will also add a leaf that's symmetrical to it. As you can see, I added an extra palm leaf back behind and that's to give dimension. And so um, what you'll do is you'll dip your paintbrush in the liquid and then in the pink and just start in that left corner and work your way left to right. Okay, make sure you have enough paint on your paintbrush so that it goes on thick. Okay, so once you have some paint surrounding your leaf, that's when you take your fine tip brush and the leaves back behind will be done with a darker green and we can do a couple of shades of dark green just for variation. But what's nice about working with the wet background and the wet leaf is that the, the lines blend together on the edges and you don't have to worry about going back over that and softening those edges. And that's why I chose to use oil paint instead of acrylics. Now this brush, it's a little more fine tip and I'm going to use that to do the very tip of the palm leaf like that. And I also dipped my paintbrush in a different shade of green. I want you to use your two darkest shades for the leaves back behind, like I did. And there you have a really nice start to your painting. So for these back leaves, do that same process where you do pink, leaf, pink, leaf, and then you can, we'll come back in here and do some of that as well. So I'm going to put it on time-lapse and you can follow along. technique to use when painting these bigger leaves um, so that you get that midline in the center. 
So what I do is I use this special brush. It's tapered at the top. And I like that for corners and edges. And so I first paint with the lightest shade and I mixed a little more of the yellow in it. But you first paint the leaf with that shade. And so you'll just paint the entire thing like this. Okay, and you get that nice golden green color. Okay, and then from there, I dip my brush in a darker color. In this case, um, I'm using the olive green that we mixed up. And you're going to take that brush and the longest point right here, you're going to start at the bottom and then just kind of push your way up. Okay, and see what happens. You instantly have this line right here. And so um, now you just take your brush and you can kind of lighten that up a little bit by stroking up on the other side. And that saves you the time of having to take a fine tip brush and going up and down and um, it's just one quick swipe. Now, if you feel like that's too dark over there, you can just take the light shade again and come around and just lighten that up a little bit and see how pretty that is. And then another thing I wanted to point out, um, you can take your fine tip brush and on the other side of the leaf where it's the lightest, because you do have a light background, you might want to take your brush and just go along the edge of the leaf and kind of darken that so that it stands out against the pink background. But be sure to blend all along there so that it doesn't look like you just took a line and went up. You actually want to blend into the leaf a little bit. And that will just help your plant to look a little more realistic. So anyway, I'm going to do time lapse, but just keep that in mind as you go and go ahead and, and finish the entire thing. Um, you'll do leaf, pink, leaf, pink, and then just continue that all the way around. As you come up here, that's when you will use your fan brush. And the fan brush basically just takes those paint strokes. And if you swipe you know, back and forth in an X pattern, that will soften the pink that you've done. Just don't run it over your green because then it will streak everywhere. So good luck and watch as I finish the remainder of the painting.
Be sure to spend a little time on your finishing touches so that you're pleased with your project. In the end, you will have a simple but trendy painting to update any space. My daughter already claimed this painting for her room and it looks great. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this fun project, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.